Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Naturals. So in this video, I am going to tell you the second thing, as in one of my first videos, which was the mast cell activators or deactivators that immensely helped me with my chronic hives and it helped me to get off of all of the medications aside from citrazine or Zyrtec, um, which is just an over-the-counter antihistamine. And it has been keeping my hives pretty much at bay, maybe one or two little hives pop up, but it allows me to sleep, it allows me to eat what I want, it allows me to work out in the heat, it allows me to shower in the hot sun, it, it, it allows me to basically live again while combating the underlying issues that are probably causing my hives. So the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and if you guys haven't seen my mast cell deactivators, absolutely go watch it, buy the products, and try it. I'm telling you, like, I don't make anything off of it, nothing, nothing, nothing at all, aside from helping you guys keep your hives at bay while you figure out what's going on in your body. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the medications that are being used to treat chronic hives. Now, most of you guys who suffer from chronic hives are probably on a regimen of like Zyrtec, Allegra, some kind of over-the-counter antihistamine, um, Zantac, well, I don't want to say Zantac, some kind of anti-acid, because when you take a uh, antihistamine and a antiacid together, it actually works as a more powerful antihistamine. You might be on Singular, which is an H2 receptor blocker, which is also just like a superpower antihistamine, as well as Zolaire or um, a steroid. Now, you really don't want to be using pretty much all of those, and I will tell you the main reason why, including the over-the-counter antiacid, and this one is extremely important. And as soon as I stopped it, I actually saw improvements in my body. Now there's two different steps to this treatment, um, and it is crucial, crucial, crucial for you guys to do this treatment if you are suffering from chronic hives. Now, antiacids. So when the doctors give you antiacids to control your hives, it is usually because in combination with an antihistamine, it can block histamine release. So it does work great in that sense. Now, the problem with the antiacid is that antiacids are known to block stomach acid right? So let's say you're having heartburn or stomach acid problems. You pop an antihistamine, no, I mean an antiacid, no problem. Your heartburn goes away. Your acid reflux goes away. You feel great. The problem is heartburn, acid reflux, chronic hives actually are a result of low stomach acid. And taking an antiacid not only just puts a bandaid on, but further eliminates the stomach acid you have. Now, stomach acid is crucial, and you hear everyone talking about, oh, we're so acidic, we need to be alkaline. Like, I even went through that. I bought, like, a $5,000 water machine to be more alkaline just to figure out later that I have zero stomach acid due to the fact that the doctors kept me on antiacids so long. Now, the problem with antiacids and low stomach acid together is antiacids reduce the amount of stomach acid you have so you don't feel that pain like heartburn and indigestion and all that, even though those pains are caused already from low stomach acid. Now, stomach acid plays a crucial role in our gut environment. If you do not have enough stomach acid or hydrochloric acid, which is stomach acid, the problem is, is that acid is actually used to break down viruses, pathogens, bad bacteria. And so if you do not have enough or adequate stomach acid, not only are you not breaking down your food properly, as well as the minerals your body needs, you are also allowing a perfect environment for these pathogens, viruses, and bacteria to stick in your gut and cling on and fight their way until you, you can no longer take it anymore. So once I got off of my antiacids, it actually made my house better, but I did this after doing the H. pylori, treatment, which is three natural ingredients. It is emulsified oil of oregano, Pepto-Bismol, and um, mast tree gum. And so you can find all of those things in the link down below. I will put them in there. So you're going to want to do this treatment program, I think for about two weeks it was, and that will eradicate any bad bacteria that also helps or kills stomach acid. So the, there's two different components to treating low stomach acid, which in turn helps treat your hives. Number one, H. pylori eradication protocol, which is the three things that I just told you and I will put them before. Follow that for two weeks. As soon as you're done with that, and you're off your antihistamines, by the way, I mean anti, um, anti-acids, sorry, keep your antihistamines. Once you're off your antiacids and you do the H. pylori treatment for two weeks, which you might start feeling better just from that, I know I did, then you, what you are going to do is move over to the next treatment program, which is just really one thing, and it is taking HCL betanine, which is an enzyme that helps produce stomach acid. So you're breaking down your food more. I was suffering from malabsorption, like my food was pretty much coming out whole when I wasn't constipated. Um, and so it was, but also it helped with my hives like tenfold. So I started taking that, and that 
amount of pills that you take is really individual to you. Now, I've done other videos and I will post a refreshed video on how to check your stomach acid levels because there's a way you can check your stomach acid levels at home. And it's something as simple as dropping a teaspoon of baking soda into a glass of water before you've eaten anything, drinking it and seeing how long it takes you to burp. If it takes you over a certain amount of time to burp, you have low stomach acid and you will know when you burp. Like it's not like one of those like uh, it's like uh, burps. So you will absolutely know when that burp has come. Um, and this will help tell you if you have low stomach acid. And if that is the case, go through the H. pylori treatment, then supplement with the HCL betanine, which will help produce stomach acid so you can fight off viruses, bacteria, and everything like that. Because I was like chronically ill. I felt like I had a cold all the time. In addition to having my hives, my hair was falling out, which is why my hair is so oily right now. It's just because I just did a natural rosemary oil um, scalp massage on myself, which I do pretty regularly. And if you guys are suffering from hair loss too, I do have another channel that tells you how to naturally reverse it as I've seen so much success on reversing my hair loss with these natural ingredients. So guys, I will do like individual videos on the H. pylori treatment and the, um, the low stomach acid treatment down below, but those are main things. So mast cell deactivation, number one. Number two, low stomach acid and trying to figure out that kind of stuff while you're trying to figure out what underneath is actually causing your hives. Because something underneath is causing the hives and it's going to be mold toxicity, a gut problem, organic acids building in the body, or adrenal insufficiency, which is caused by the medications you're taking currently for your hives. So the medications that you are taking for your hives currently are making you worse and making you sicker. And even though it might be make you feel better in the moment, it is not going to make you feel better in the long run. I am giving you sustainable options for fighting and combating chronic hives. So guys, I hope you found this video informative. If so, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I would appreciate it so much. Links down below for everything, the tests that you should do, um, the mast cell deactivators, as well as the low stomach acid treatment protocol for H. pylori eradication, as well as once you're done with that, boosting your stomach acid and how to do that. So guys, please make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment below. I would appreciate it so much as I'm trying to help people like me and like you fix their chronic hives. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a good one.